Hi everybody, good afternoon. It's Lillian, thank you so much for joining me today. And I wanna show you my very first ever altered book. And now this is the second time I record this because the first time was too long and I couldn't upload it and I couldn't figure out why. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this speedy, speedy process or the spree, speedy show and tell, hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Now, let me tell you, first ever, I'm really excited. It turned out super, super chunky. Just look at that, chunky monkey. And I absolutely love it. Funny story behind this book is my sister and I challenged each other to create an altered book. And back in April, so we said, hey, let's let's do this uh, uh, altered book and, and we'll swap uh, for Mother's Day. I thought, great, I could do that. Uh, seven weeks later, and here we are, you guys. Then we extended to the end of May, and that didn't happen. And that's because we have busy lives, you guys, and I can't be um, crafting all day long as much as I want to. So sometimes it was 15 minutes a day, sometimes it was one hour a day, sometimes it was all morning. But nonetheless, it took me about, oh, seven weeks to get this done and I am done and I'm happy and let me show you really quick before I run out of time and then I can't upload it. But here we go. Here is the very first page. Now I used whatever I could from my stash. I may not remember where everything came from and that's okay because I've got a lot of stuff and I just need to use it up. Some of it was new, some of it was was literally junk that I repurposed and I will um, try to share as much as I can. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them as quickly as possible. So, or as promptly as possible, I should say. Thanks so much. Okay, here is a little pocket that I made. Now, I repurposed a lot of the book pages that I took out of the book because in order to make things fit, I had to take out about half of the pages. And even then, as flat as I wanted to keep it, look at that alligator mouth right here. Yeah, whoops, sorry, she still needs to add her, her goodies too, but it's okay, you guys, it's beautiful. And I'm so sad to have to part with it, but actually excited that my sister's getting it and she's making one for me and I'm, I can't wait to see hers. And hey, I have a good idea. When I get hers, I'll do a flip through video of, of uh, of her, uh, the one that I get from her. Yay! Okay, here we go. Pocket video, I love repurposing the Rolodex cards. It is my absolute favorite thing to do. And here it is, a little bit of stamping, some ephemera I have for my stash. And here's that book page. The book page, I actually did it by taking the book page and then folding it up about three quarters. So let's just say this is it. And so I did this and then stitched, 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 and then, you know, got yourself a pocket. That was my illustration there. So that's what I did here. Gold stitching, I love it. Let's move on to the next pages, you guys. I left some pages blank just because they are perfect for journaling, as you can see where it came from. Let me tell you something, I have a ton of books that I could use to repurpose that I've actually purchased for altering and for creating junk journals. Um, but this one, but there, you know, I have a really hard time breaking into books. I'm it, it's, it's, it's been a huge um, a learning curve for me to actually take apart a book. Um, I love books and taking them apart. Oh my gosh, that was that was very difficult. But anyway, so what I did is instead of using the books that I already have for altering, I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased this one. Now before I even altered it. What I did is try to read it, and I just, I'm so sorry, dear author. Um, I know you put your hard work into this, but it just wasn't a story that interested me. However, I did turn it into a treasure, and here we are. So thank you very much to this author for this awesome book that I have turned into something special. Here is some stamping. This right here, this part right here is repurposed paper sack. I take a paper sack, I stamp the front, the back, the sides, and then I tear around the images, distress it, and now I've got ephemera for days, you guys. I do that to the white paper sacks, to the brown paper sacks, and everything from the grocery store or from food to go bags. You know what I'm talking about. I did some stamping here, and look at my eco paper. Special story behind this eco paper. My daughter, one of my daughters, sent me a beautiful flower bouquet for Mother's Day. And 
I try to keep it alive as fast as I could. I mean, as long as I could, but unfortunately it wilted. And that's when I had the idea of trying out eco dyeing, And I absolutely loved it. So this is very special to me because of that. Those are her flowers that made these colors. And I know I told my sister that I would be doing that. So that is very special. Here is some stamping with that. Oh, so beautiful. Here's more of that eco dyed paper. Some Tim Holtz papers. Oh, here is a pocket. I didn't show you this. Here is a journaling card. It is a book page that has been folded in half. I stitched with gold threading on the sewing machine all the way around. Did some fabric here and then added a journaling card from my stash. I love pocket scrapbooking and so I have tons of these journaling cards that I use for that. But they're also great for decorating the fronts of these. And that is what I did. Let me put that back in there showed you this one. Oh, here is a side pocket. Again, I did some stitching here and then glued some trim, another journaling card, some little, um, what are these? These are ticket tabs, labels, label stickers. So there is that again, just a page folded in half. And here is this layout, just beautiful. This is actually from a Ray Dunn, from a Ray Dunn card. Um, they come with a, a uh, the sticker or this uh, label to seal the envelope, um, but um, I kept it. <laughs> I stashed it. So there's that more beautiful eco dyed paper. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love it for being my first time. I think it came out great. I will be doing that again. Some paper, some vintage music sheets. Here's a corner pocket with another journaling card using journaling cards, pocket cards. And I left these the way they are, the um, chapter pages, because they have all of this great space for journaling. Eco dyed paper with a little stamp right here. So I try to leave this as blank as possible so that you can use it for journaling. Here is a fabric flip. Gail Agostinelli is awesome at flips, fabric flips, and I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know how I feel about the flip. I do, however, love this fabric but I've only done the one. I need to practice some more. She's awesome and I try to mimic her style in this and I think it came out okay. And it needs work, maybe it needs more layers, but I'm gonna leave it as it is because that alone screams cuteness. And you lift it, here's a journaling card. Paper sack, repurposed paper sack. And here's again, repurposed paper sack right here with a stamp image, eco dyed paper. Here's this side pocket. Look how cool this looks, you guys. This was the very top page of the eco dyed sandwich with the binder clips holding it together and then the twine. I love this page. Here is another journaling card. These were so fun to make. It's just the paper folded in half and stitched and then embellished. Here's more eco dyed. Look at the leaves there. Can you see that subtle print? So pretty. Oh, look at this beautiful paper. Here is another pocket, book page pocket that I made. It's just the full length page and then uh, folded up a third of the ways with one of these um, altered index cards, a pocket card, maybe from Heidi Swap, maybe from Becky Higgins, maybe, you know, Reset Girl. It, they're all over the place. Citrus Twist Kits, name it, I have them. <laughs> so I need to use them up. And look at this great paper right here. Just collage. Now, collaged, I collaged a lot here. And collaging is not something that I, I do a lot of, but I enjoyed the process here. Oh, here's one thing I missed showing you. Look at these pocket cards. Now, if you watched my video, I suggest you watch the video that I created just before this video. And it is a show and tell repurposing junk mail envelopes. And that's how I created these. You guys, it, it, this idea I thought was absolutely brilliant. And um, I had an envelope, you know, that was just kind of laying around and it was like the perfect length of the book. So I created it into a journal card. Look at how perfect that is. The perfect length. And I talk all about how I created this in the video before, and I will link it in the comments so that you can go see it. So you can see how I created these from junk envelopes, the return junk envelopes that come in the mail. And um, so I thought that was genius, you guys. So I just collaged on it, put a tab, 
put that um, definition stamp and then I created this right here and I have a larger print to show you how I did that. It's my own little digi print of a doily. So, oh, there it is. Digi print. Scanned it, printed it, and now it'll give you the look of lace. You almost can feel it, but it's just there um, to give the appearance of texture, and that was awesome. I love these journaling cards. They won't get lost in the in the pockets because they are just the right length, you guys. I thought this idea was genius, so I did give myself a pat, a pat in the back for that one. And here we go, more beautiful collaging. Here is more beautiful collaging, and this is actually a tuck spot right here. Oh, there's already, duh, <laughs> here's this card. <laughs> okay, yeah, there it is. Um, so here is a tuck spot. These are a tea dyed index cards. I think I put this here so I remember that it is a tuck spot so that I can, I have embellished ones. So I'll put that in there. Remember to put that in there. Here's some paper sack, eco dyed paper, side pocket. Look at how pretty that is. I love this card. I think that came from the Reset Girl. Here's my eco dyed paper with little clusters. I stamped on cotton fabric and then cut that out. I love that cute little bunny. Here are more eco dyed papers. I love this definition stamp. And that was Gail Agostinelli. Uh, she has this video. She did a video on, and she was using this stamp. Well, I immediately contacted my crafty ladies and they asked them if they had one they could part with. And yes, one of them did. She sold it to me. And it is, I just love it. Love that stamp set. So thanks, Gail, <laughs> for the idea. So if you guys want to, want to search for your own, I'm sure somewhere on the internet you can find it. It is called define your life by stamping up it's an old stamp so good luck to you if you can find it here are some journaling cards in this pocket these are postcards that i treasure i was kind of hoarding them they are by heart by cc you can see that right there she is on instagram she's on etsy she is a wonderful artist and i purchased her her postcards and so that they can be used as journaling cards there's paper sack right there look at that Here's a coffee stain note paper, and then that definition stamp, stickers, collaging, more collaging here with scraps of paper. Here's a pocket with a journaling card. Some lace, some Tim Holtz butterflies that I cut out. I think it's from the Wallflower Collection. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Here's some subtle stamping right here, eco dyed paper, coffee stain note paper. This came out so beautiful. I love it. I love it. And here's a beautiful page. Oh, and I repurposed a glassine bag. There it is. Used it as a tuck spot. You can also put goodies in there or nice little notes in here or a tag. A little cluster of little things in my junk bag. I have a junk bag. It's a 12 by 12 or it's a Ziploc bag and it's full of uh, scraps. And that's, that's how many scraps. I won't let it get any bigger than that. So I try to use up as many scraps as I can. Here is another one of my beautiful repurposed envelope journal cards, you guys. These are awesome. You see the security envelopes? These are the ones that come in the mail. If you want to apply for a credit card, just return your application in here. That's what this is. And uh, look at that. I love these, you guys. They are the perfect length. Go watch my other video. Go watch it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. All the journaling. Plus, you can journal here, and then you can tuck away some private thoughts or some more private thoughts or, you know, pictures or receipts, whatever. It's, it, it'll be her journal to do with what she likes. More beautiful collaging here. Some washi tape. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Paper sack. Yeah, that's paper sack, paper sack, eco paper, old vintage music paper. Oh, here's a side pocket. There we go with the labels, cut aparts, paper sack. This is, um, I sewed an old tablecloth there, little bits of it. Another glassine tuck spot right here. Glassine tuck spot. With a little cluster, did some collaging. And look at this beautiful creation right here from my daughter's bouquet. Beautiful. More eco 
I love this stamp. I think it's uh, Stampin' Up, but I don't know from where. Sorry, you guys. This is a Frida, uh, from the Frida set, Dina Wakely's Frida set. I stamped it on cotton fabric and then just tore it. Here is two more journaling cards right here, Heart by CC. And here's this one using Project, Project Live cards or Heidi Swap cards, pocket cards. We'll call them pocket cards because I can't remember where they're from. And then here's a nice little doily flip for some private thoughts there. Some great, great, tons of great um, space for journaling your thoughts, your day, your, you know, your, use it as a planner, whatever she wants. And look at this. I love this, this succulent teacup right here on that paper sack. More definition on paper sack. Nice stamping there. Here is a, I folded this over. It is note, uh, coffee dyed note paper, and I just folded it to create, to create a pocket. And so you can journal here and then have a pocket here for more journaling. That's a really pretty, pretty card. And then look at this. I did some stamping here, and I love that tree stamp. And here is more collage, coffee dyed note paper. I think this music paper came from a little paper stack from Daiso. Daiso Japanese dollar store. Here is another repurposed envelope. Here we go. Look at that. Genius, you guys. If you haven't done this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woohoo! It has one of these cards. And I also talk about how I make these cards in the um, previous video. Okay. So that's what I do. Faux postcards. Along with these great journaling cards. Okay. And, oh, jelly print paper, vellum tuck spot or vellum pocket, yachts, old Yahtzee cards. I love this. I, I call it faux jelly printing because I don't actually own a large jelly plate. I created this using a gallon size Ziploc bag. You do it just like you would with a jelly printing and the effect is very similar and I love it. So I do that often. So here's more paper. Here is Another journaling card. I actually have two in here. Look at this one. From an old Yahtzee game piece. Here's this beautiful, I um, fussy cut this. It is a Stampin' Up! design. I don't own it. I borrowed it. It's beautiful. I'd love to own it. So maybe I should order it for my girlfriend. <laughs> and eco dyed paper and some stamping. It's beautiful. It's like three, di three dimensional. I love it. Love it. Okay. So I need to add, add that to my wish list. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Here is more um, collaging, music paper, eco paper. Just beautiful little bit of stamping. Great, great spots for journaling. More journaling spots. Here's a corner. And then collaged even underneath. Here's a journaling card. And then more. Oh, I also created this paper right here. I wrote down my favorite, uh, my favorite song the lyrics to my favorite song in script and then i scanned it and now i print it created my own digi print and use it in in my works the same thing with that doily i did the same thing scan the doily and i love using bits and pieces it adds a lot of uh, personal touches and and you know that is my favorite song using eco paper you know things like that eco paper using the bouquet from my daughter it adds a lot of heart to, to the items that you create. And so I love this. There's a lot of uh, sentimental um, or sentiment behind the book. And here is some more of that faux jelly printing. This is one of my favorite journaling cards. This is from the Dina Wakely um, Frida stamp set. And there is my attempt at embroidery. You guys, I haven't embroidered since I was, ooh, let's just say it's been a long time. So I did that really quick. And you know what? Once it was all together, it... I love it. It is one of my favorite cards. And there's my tea stained, um, a tea stained index card. And this is a, a book page that has been folded in half and I sewed it around three sides to make a pocket. And that's it right there. So you can journal here and journal here. And then tuck it away there. Beautiful. This is from the Tim Holtz wallpaper collection. These are beautiful, reminiscent of old wallpaper. Here is another. I love these papers. Here is the top tuck spot right here. Do you see how this one would hide in? This one 
you're not careful, it's going to fall in. So I put the fabric there to kind of keep it from falling in. But now that I've created these, these great envelope um, journaling cards, this won't happen again. Um, but that fabric will keep it from sinking to the bottom. So that's why these right here are genius. Okay. Oh, this has to be my favorite page. I absolutely love it. I hope you love it too. This is, I hand drew, well duh, I hand, I drew this freehand, I should say. And um, I drew, I've been drawing these faces for years. I used to draw these for my girls. They would say, hey mom, can you draw my face? And I'd say yes, and I would draw them. And even though they all look the same, just different hair color, but that's pretty much the style. So I love these faces. Um, I fussy cut it, I colored it and put it in here. So I did that. I love it. This, this right here, this page is a reflection of my personality. I think it has all the colors I love and um, the turquoise, the lime green, and it's just so vibrant. And I, I, this has to be my, my favorite page, favorite page. Here's more collaging here. A little bit of that. Love that. Here is Here's this beautiful graphics. I, I saved this uh, postcard because of the graphics. It's just beautiful. Glued some trim and then added some coffee dyed note paper to that. Now this, I did this page with my sister in mind because she absolutely loves teapots. And so this is, this page is dedicated to her, even though the whole book is dedicated to her, but then this layout is like, it's, it screams my sister. So I think she would like that. And I stamped, this is an old close to my heart stamp set. When I say old, I mean like over 20 years, I think. Um, but I love it. I stamped it on this cotton fabric and then she can journal and then tuck that right there. Added some beautiful trim on the sides. Love this page. It's a very shabby chicish, shabby chicish. We are almost done, second to the last page, and here is something else I freehand cut. Um, here is a little birdie I cut out and then I um, collaged over it, made it a special little wing too, and then drew some legs directly onto the paper and gave it some knees. You guys, look at those knees. Let me show you. <laughs> I love oh my gosh, out of everything in this page, those knees, those knees are great. Great bird knees, not the bee's knees, but the bird's knees. I love this page. And then um, stapled some tool to the tail and did some collaging up here, but I love it. I know it kind of looks like a dolphin, but it's a bird today, bird, bird. Left some pages blank, blank, and here is the end, ta-da! You guys, thank you so much for joining me to watch this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And I appreciate you so much. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will respond as quickly as I can. I'd love to know what you think, your feedback. This is my first book. And let me, let me know what you think, you guys. All right, stick around because I will be doing more videos. I will be more active on YouTube. Thanks so much for sticking around for this video. And I appreciate you guys. You take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.